Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Cookie Week. This is a week dedicated to cookies, of course. We are going to be making five different cookie recipes this week. A new video will be released every single day, and each day you will have a recipe for a healthy, gluten-free, and vegan cookie. I hope that this gives you a ton of inspiration as you're getting ready for the holidays. Cookies, of course, make awesome gifts, like we talked about last week but they also are just a fun way to get your family and your loved ones in the kitchen. So I hope you are excited to bake along with me this week. I definitely recommend that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these awesome recipes. There's a red button right below this video that says subscribe. You can tap that red button and you will be subscribed. And today we are kicking things off with a gluten-free and vegan sugar cookie recipe. This is a recipe that I made ages ago on the site and so I gave it a little bit of a refresh. We are topping it with a really simple icing, which is actually colored with matcha powder. How fun is that? You guys know I'm obsessed with matcha. And these cookies are so simple to make. So let's go ahead and dive into our first video. We're gonna start by beating together some coconut oil, which is just soft, not melted, as well as some room temperature maple syrup. And you're just going to beat this all together with an electric mixer until it is smooth and creamy. Once you get that consistency, you can add in your flax egg and just stir that together until it's all combined. Then we will add in some oat flour as well as some coconut flour, some baking soda, and then just stir this together until a thick dough starts to form. You are going to wanna get in there with your hands at some point because it will become a little bit too thick to stir around with a spatula. And if it feels too sticky to combine it with your hands, you can add a touch more coconut flour, but make sure not to add too much because the cookies will get a little bit too dry if you add too much flour. So just continue to knead it all together until you have a pliable dough and it won't really stick to your hands, but you will be able to form it with your hands. So here's what it will look like. You can kind of just squeeze it together into a ball. And then you will wrap this up in some plastic wrap and we're going to refrigerate it for at least two hours or you can do this up to overnight. When you are ready to roll out your dough, you're gonna to wanna to just let it come to room temperature for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I like to rub it and kind of squeeze it between my hands so that the coconut oil warms up a little bit. This just makes it easier to roll out. You'll notice that when I'm rolling it out, it does crack a little bit. And the softer and kind of warmer the dough is, the less cracking you will get. So you're going to wanna to be really gentle with your rolling pin and just kind of roll it out. Use your hands as needed if the dough cracks a little bit and just continue to roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. And then you can use cookie cutters to just cut shapes out of the dough and then transfer your shapes onto a baking sheet. You don't really have to use parchment paper because you don't have to worry about this dough sticking to the sheet at all. And you will bake these at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes or so. Once you are done baking them, you can just let them cool on the pan for a couple minutes and then we will get to icing. For the icing, we are going to add organic powdered sugar, as well as some matcha powder and some almond milk into a small bowl and you just whisk this all together. So once you have a consistency like this, you can add it into a piping bag and then we are just going to pipe the icing onto the cookies. And you can of course do any designs that you like. And then I sprinkled some of them with some crushed peppermint candy as well as some all natural sprinkles. But decorating is all your choice, so go with whatever you like for your holiday cookies. And there you have it, my friends. That concludes our first recipe in Cookie Week. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of our Cookie Week videos. Red button right below this video it says subscribe. Hit it, it will subscribe you and you are done. Of course, I would also love to see some photos of your cookie recreations. If you do end up making these cookies or any of the cookies from Cookie Week, make sure to share a photo with me on Instagram by tagging at simplyquinoa and using the hashtag SQCookieWeek. That will just help me easily find your photo and give you a little bit of love in return. As with all of my videos, the full recipe is in the description box below, so you can tap that link, head on over to the blog, and get the entire recipe and instructions. And that's all I have for you today. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another cookie recipe. And I hope you have a great rest of your Monday. Bye, guys.